Hello, it's Kako, and I'm coming with you with a very, very short video. I am... Oh boy, this was interesting to do, but I am surprised how many sketches I went through. I went through like five sketches to get this thing done. So, I decided to go do a steampunk character. Um, this was for... A contest that Flying Pigs was holding. It finished yesterday. And I, in my opinion, this t came out very nicely. I've always been really into steampunk. And having the chance of doing it was really awesome. So here I am starting to do the outlines. Which... I did too thin, so you can see some of it kind of like on the outside, so I couldn't do the colored lines, which I was a little grumpy about, because I wanted it to look cool, but I did do it at least on the hair and everything, and this is in this, uh, I.S. Paint, I think is how you say it, I did it in there. But, um, I have not found the same brush in different programs that I like using for my hair. So, in a few seconds, I am going to be going over to Procreate and starting to do, like, the shading and everything because I didn't feel comfortable in, in this progr program because I have not used it as much as Procreate. I've been on Procreate for at least a year or so. And now I have switched over to Procreate. I am importing everything in. And starting to shade everything. I was I was unsure what to do, so I just started shading and in my opinion it turned out pretty nicely. So more shade shading. More the shading took a little while because there was so much to shade. All those freaking ruffles. That's one thing I hate about, um, uh, about steampunk is all the freaking ruffles. That's, if you're going shaded, it takes so darn long. It took me like a good two hours to shade it all. Which was no fun because I, I was up really like late on this piece. I think it was up till like one-ish doing this piece. So, that was no fun for me. I, I think I was starting to fall asleep towards the end of this. And I am now on to the bottom part. I literally made this dress out of my head, so I don't know if this actually looks that steampunky. I, I didn't add in that many gears, but I'm not the best ever at drawing gears. So, uh, the only gear on here is on the hat, so I think if I ever get the chance to do another steampunk, um, I probably will try to add more gears in. And I was having issues also making the top head look like it's on the head and not hovering on it. So I just went with the tiny little hat, which I think is adorable. Um, so there's the tiny little hat. And I did add, put, like, um... What is it called? Like, silk or... You know on those old-fashioned hats how they had, like, the little bit of fabric coming off? That's what I did, and I think it looks nice with this piece, but I don't know if it's really steampunk-ish with that type of hat, but I don't draw too well with top hats, so it works. And now I'm on to the hair, just shading that in. I do reference um, Flying Peggy once again for my hair, so, um, thank you very much for how, how you do hair, or I would not be doing my hair like this. So, I am just finishing it up. I am not good at adding clocks, so I just added the clock in the background. And then I'm done! This is the finished piece. Thank you for listening to this quick video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hit that little bell! Me, Blueberry, Marmalade, and Blintz love you. 
go make a cat's or dog's day much better. Woo! First try! I love you guys. Bye!